text, the graphics and films that we produce and uh, it's basically marketing stuff. Gina has asked me to um, talk about the product range today. So we've set them up in order from the most comprehensive and powerful down to the smallest package here. This is Ableton Suite which includes Ableton Live, all the features and all the instruments we produce as well. So it's I think there are 10 software instruments and sample instruments and a huge library which uh, includes hundreds of, sort of rack instruments where you can tweak the sounds and um, sort of open up the things and really change things inside. For sound designers it's, it's a really fabulous um, resource. This one is Ableton Live 8 basically which is the, the engine or the features for making music for um, producing music, recording audio, and for playing live on stage. And this one is Live Intro, which is basically a stripped down version of Live, with just the essential features, and um, we also added a pretty comprehensive content package here, just to get people started. And we think people that, um, that by intro are probably going to be beginners, or people that just need certain features of Live to complement other sequences like Logic or Pro Tools. And they can run Live sessions alongside the sequence that they want to use. Which one do you use? I use Sweet. And what do you like the best about the Sweet? I, I think there's something I share with a lot of users that it's basically a, a kind of a one-stop thing. I don't have a lot of external plugins and third-party stuff. I just use Sweet. I use all the instruments, everything, all the sounds on it come from Sweet. And there's enough possibilities in there that I don't need any other plugins. And uh, it's nice having this very stable workflow. You just drag an instrument out. You have to drag effects out, and it's always the same kind of flow from recording something to programming MIDI stuff to playing over the keyboard and to arranging as well. So then we start in the session view and then go to arrangement view. Do you uh, find yourself sticking with the same instrument? Is there one instrument that you, or one group of instruments that you particularly like? Yeah. Um, I find myself sticking to the same instruments more than I'd like. <laughs> um, I use operator a lot. Mm -hmm. it's it's a very complex instrument, but it's very, very powerful. And uh, the deeper you get into it, the more you discover the art of actually creating sounds with with operator. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's good because you can use it on several different levels. As a beginner, like at my level, it's you can get good sounds using the presets and tweaking them. You can get pretty much the sound you want very easily. Um, for people who really understand synthesis, operator is, is just an absolute playground. They can really go crazy with it. Uh, I know uh, Robert Henker, who is a guy behind Mono Lake, his music is pretty much all operator. He uses very few other instruments. And he's an absolute master of it. Um, the other instruments that I like are, I use drum machines a lot. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. And, um, collision, which is a, a software instrument for tuning percussion, like mallets and things. Oh, yes, okay. And you can get some pretty crazy sounds out of that. Above and beyond things like xylophones and long spears, you can really sort of play with it to get create sort of totally bizarre percussive things or that sort of a bit of um, something kind of exotic and unusual to the reef, it's a very basic sound. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. What's the, uh, what's the upgrade path like for, from intro to uh, studio or suite? How do you mean with the upgrade path? Uh, um, so if somebody buys an intro, mm -hmm. they, can, they can move up if they, yeah, sure. they pay. Yeah. So they just basically get pay the fee and get the next level up, yeah. that's pretty yeah, straightforward. We, we expect people, I mean we have live light as well, which we don't have here because it's just something that comes with um, other sorts of selected hardware products. Um, but we, we see that people start using live lights or they start using intro, they get into the workflow, they find that there's something that's very fast and immediate and it's a nice way of making music. And, um, then once they got used to it, they, tend to, they do upgrade, or they, we hope they upgrade in most cases, to either live or suite. And I think people who are recording a lot of audio, playing live on stage, they may be okay with live. And people who want everything, all the instruments in this one consistent workflow will probably go for suite.